What's up guys, this is Theo here coming to you live with another JavaScript coding tutorial. Today I'm going to uh, begin a series on how to create Pac-Man using HTML5, CSS3, and uh, JavaScript, a little bit of jQuery. So um, yeah guys, let's get to it. First thing I'm going to do is open up my terminal. Um, I'm going to change directory into my desktop. I'm going to make a directory called Pac-Man Game. And just to let you know, in this, guy, in this tutorial, um, part one, all we're going to do is uh, we're going to set up the game and we're going to set up our basic uh, function that will allow uh, Pac-Man to sort of move around the world. Uh, we're not going to get too in-depth with the styling, but um, we'll, set it, we'll set it up a little bit. So, uh, all right, so let's uh, change the directory into Pac-Man and we're going to touch uh, index.html file, we're going to touch our styles CSS file and we are going to touch a uh, game dot JavaScript file and then uh, let's see if we do open I guess that opens it right uh, and then let me drag this into sublime text and so now we have this our index our game so let me open it in here guys um, so yeah this is it and let's just set up a basic boilerplate HTML. Let me see if this works with five. No, I don't have it in it. Okay, so uh, Pac-Man game part one. That's what it's gonna be called for now. And all we're gonna do right here is create the, a division with a class of uh, realm. So this is just the realm that Pac-Man lives in. And uh, inside of here, we're gonna have our image which is going to be of Pac-Man so let me go grab that real quick so we're just going to do uh, jQuery CDN and jQuery CDN we are going to get the minified version we're going to grab this code right here um, so in our head we're going to put uh, jQuery then also we need to bring in our script of games game.js so text JavaScript, you don't actually need that type anymore, but uh, just leave it there, game. So we have our two scripts loading. Uh, let's just make sure, so let me open this in the browser real quick. So packing in part one, let's look at our network tab to make sure, make sure everything is, our sources, sorry. Let's, uh, let me inspect it again. Sources, network, okay, so it's loading game.js and jQuery. Awesome, cool. Uh, got all that working. And next thing we wanna do, we just wanna style up our realm. So all we're gonna do is say dot realm. We wanna give it a background color of red, um, a border of two picks, solid black, a height of 600, a height of 300 pixels, and a width of 600 pixels. And uh, we wanna put this in the center of the page, margin zero auto. Let's go back and see what we have. Uh, oh, right, sorry about that. So we also need to grab our style sheet. So we'll say styles.css, go back in here. We should see that's our, that's the little realm. Uh, we can give the height a little bit more. We can give the height like 400. Oh, that's about good and uh, sort of spice it up. You can do a uh, border radius, let's give it 30 pixels. I think that's close to the maximum. No, maybe not. I guess it's 50, I think. Let's see. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. We'll keep it at 50. I think you can go a little bit higher, not too much. Um, yeah, so got that. Let me go grab off of uh, Pac-Man image, and if we go to images, we are going to grab, we'll grab this one right here, view image, this happens to be a ping suite, and let's go back to our HTML, get the image, and just so that it doesn't blow up on us, let's do style uh, width, 30 pixels, and height, this will be 30 pixels. And let's go back in here, see what we have. Okay, that's not too bad. So let me take that out. Uh, 
Let's give this uh, ID Pac-Man, this image. Bring these styles and make them internal. Um, so we're just gonna say Pac-Man width 30 pixels and height 30 pixels. So it's good to go. And uh, I think he's actually showing up where we wanted to show up for the most part, but let's bring him over a little bit. So position relative. And we'll just do left 15 pixels. Let's see what that does to him. Eh, that's not too bad. And let's bring him uh, down like five pixels. Pop five pixels. Eh, all right, a little bit of a little little bit more, maybe like 20 pixels left. All right, so that's good. Now um, that's not too bad, guys. Uh, that's kind of what we want, right? He's always going to stay there for the most part. That's good. Um, but now what we want to do, we want to have them be able to move around the world. Uh, let me do one more thing. I'm just going to write some text in here and just do H1, something that's sort of fun. Welcome to Pac-Man and let's see what this does. So we have welcome to Pac-Man. If we go in here and we grab our H1, H1, we can do display, flex, see what that does. It does not do anything. Um, inline block, which one? Uh, okay, I know what we need to do. The whole realm, we need to display flex. Display flex. Yeah. Display inline block. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, okay, maybe I know what it is. I think. If we put this H1 after the image, we go back. Okay, we have that. We grab this H1 and we can sort of uh, we just text align center. Cool. And we can display flex, uh, justify content center, align items center, and align the content to the center. Let's see what that does for us. I guess. Okay, line self center. Huh, that's weird. Um, I'll look into that, but for now, let's just keep it a text line center. And let's make the color white and the font family can be uh, Arial, I guess. It's kind of cool. Um, let's just also give it position relative top 100 pixels. Okay, that's kind of in, that's almost in the center. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's what we have. Welcome to Pac Man. And pretty cool. Let's actually get this to move. So, let's go into our, we got jQuery. Let's go into our job, uh, JavaScript file and write this. Event handler for when jQuery loads, which is just the document dot ready, and uh, this takes a function. Uh, it actually comes with an object in here, which is the jQuery object, but we're not going to look at that. And uh, so we can just log out. Uh, jQuery has loaded, and let's just make sure this actually works. Let's inspect console jQuery is loaded. Okay, cool. Um, so all we want to do is handle this this uh, key down event, which is basically just a button press. So in here we can do um, uh, document uh, dot on key down, and then we'll handle this event with this function uh, handle um, handle typing. Okay. So we've just delegated this key down this event or this function. Um, so that's cool. So now we have function handle typing and this function handle, handle typing takes in an event and we can just console dot log the event dot which, which is just the key code. So let's see if our, our, um, JavaScript code is working. So let's see real quick, close this up here, bring this to the side. 
and we can see if we do 39 is right, down is 40, left is 37, and 38 is up. So let's implement some of this logic. We're going to use a switch statement, but later we might need to change it to an if, but for now let's just use a switch statement. So we can do switch, uh, and we want to switch on the event dot which. And the way the switch statement works is we have this condition, and then we want to evaluate what happens when the condition meets this requirement. So in the case of the event dot which is 39, which is, let me look again, 39 is right. So in the case of right, um, what we want to do is we want to uh, want to grab our Pac-Man, which is just Pac-Man. Want to change out the CSS, and uh, I'm I'm passing it as an object because I'm going to give it multiple properties eventually. But you could just pass it as uh, without the object, just in the parentheses. Um, so we're going to say, well, one one last thing, guys. So let's create a variable real quick when it's loaded and it's called Pac-Man and we'll get its coordinates. So this is going to be an object var Pac-Man equals object um, actually just to make it like that so we'll say Pac-Man Pac-Man dot x equals so we started him out at uh, where we started him at 20 pixels 20 and then Pac-Man dot y equals 5 okay cool so there's the coordinates the x and y so all we're going to do here is uh, since he's going right, we're going to say left, and then it's going to be pacman dot x plus or equal to 10 plus px. And then after that, we're going to do this break statement. So let's see if this works. Okay, so if we go right, ooh, what, what the heck happened? Um, Seems a bit strange. Um, switch event which Pacman dot CSS Pacman Pacman does Pacman dot CSS. Why is it? Hold on, let me look at this real quick. Left two thousand ten. Oh shit! That's why I'm bad. Um, what the heck? Oh, okay. So that's that's what I was doing wrong. Let me see. This should work now. Okay. So yeah, don't try and concatenate like that without using the uh, parentheses. So yeah. So every time you hit the right, um, he will move right like that. It's pretty smooth. So let's handle the rest of these events, guys. Um, let me just log out this event dot which again so we can get um, we can get which one it is it's down is 40 so in the case of 40 I'm going to use the same template right here and except for that we want to change it to top and then we'll say pacman dot y plus or equal to so let's see if that works so we have right and down, right down. Okay, cool. Um, now let's handle let's handle the left. So let me look at what left is. Left is thirty seven. Okay. So pretty much the same as this, except for um, thirty seven. We're gonna want to do minus equals. So let's see if left works left, down, and we just need to handle up. Up is 38. Okay, so let's just let's change this final code out. And and then we will do um, this will be top pacman.y minus equals 10. We go in here, so now we have right, down, right, left, up. Cool guys. Um, so it's pretty awesome. You can sort of see, you know, how it's working, how it's coming together. 
in the next tutorial we will you know sort of build out the world more but I just wanted to get the sort of basic functionality set up uh, obviously we don't have him you know going outside of the outside of the borders we, we could really we could handle that right now we could do um, I think if we put on this realm we do overflow hidden you know he'll be hidden so we could we could deal with it like that that's probably not the best um, best uh, solution you know because people might wonder like what the heck happened to him but um yeah guys that's it um that's the first pac-man uh first uh video in the series so there's gonna be more to come uh but i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions comments concerns please let me know make sure to like comment subscribe give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, and uh, have a great day.